Hey everyone, Sir Turbon here again, and today is going to be our third and last video with Gecko Moria. And after playing this deck over the last, uh, like the last three days worth of videos, honestly, this is fun. It's very fun, but it's also very hard. Um, there's a lot of things you have to manage, you have to think about. So I'm, I'm excited to see what really good players do with this. Because I think it's a cool deck. I think it's a cool deck and managing your trash and stuff like that can be really cool. I'm also not convinced that this list is the best list out there. Uh, so I'm also curious to see what other people do. Now, today's matchups, we're going to have one game against Soro and Sanji, which is one of the new leaders coming out in Static Deck 12, which comes at the same day as OPO 6. And then we have one, uh, I think we have one game against Sakasuki. And I think we have one game against a Purple Luffy player, some, some kind of like meta decks as well that might that are gonna make continue making a presence after the release of OPO set. So hope you enjoy those games coming up soon. And if you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. And tomorrow, the next leader that we're gonna showcase is gonna be Reiju. So if you wanna see some bin smoke stuff, make sure you keep a lookout for that tomorrow. So enjoy the games and I'll see you all later. In this match, we're going to get Soro and Sanji. And I'm okay doing this matchup because the starter deck also comes out at the same time as... Um, ooh, you know, I'm going to mulligan this. It comes down at the same time as OP, o, uh, OPO sets, right? So I ended up not getting what I wanted from the mulligan. But at least I ended up getting the brand new right on my first draw. So that works out for us. So when attacking, one done, once per turn, you may return one of your cost to a high character to his own hand. Set of one of your power 7,000 less characters as active. So just kind of like putting a lot of pressure and stuff, right? Uh, let's not take that. I I'm going to just counter. If I can counter early, like the small attacks, I think it's okay to do that. We'll attack for five here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to develop this Kusan and force the opponent to find a way to kill this Kusan. So if they cannot kill this Kusan, this Kusan is going to become a problem for them. Especially because we have the Absalom here, right? Um, I do need more cards though on my disc on my disc card. There you go. So they have to go for it this way. We do have a 2k and a 1k, so we can definitely save this. And I think we go for it. Yeah, I think we go for it. Wait. Oh, it, it gets restanded. Yeah, yeah, it gets restanded, right? So I did, I forgot about that. I forgot that Hina gets restanded. So that's on me. Uh, I was like, what the heck just happened? Um, if I go here, I'm killing her, but she's dying anyways, right? Like, she's pretty much dying no matter what. If the opponent gives me more than that, I guess that's fine. Uh, honestly, let's go here first. Let's see if the opponent gives me a car. Yeah, like, I figured they were not going to do anything here. Uh, the problem is that I don't have... Let's go Cindy. Yeah, let's go Cindy. Just uh, make our disc card big enough that now I can just search whatever I want. Uh, the Cindy wasn't there when I first attacked. I got it from the trash from, from the gecko. Uh, we'll take this one, unfortunately. That's cool. I, for, I, I read this and I didn't realize that it was set one of them as active. So like saving that Kusan was not necessary. But I guess it forced them to have to use it and stuff. And, and I guess their trick here is that they can keep bouncing that back up and doing their stuff, right? Uh, okay, so... Great Eruption. Or we just go Moira. What if it's just Moira into Suu, into Absalom? To kill that Soro? If I go great, if I go great eruption, it's probably better. That way, I can actually go. I could also just go Hina, right? I could just go Hina and great eruption and just kill them with Lucy. Sure, why not do this? Why not do this? Let's go like this. Let's go Ice Age. Let's go Meteor and. Uh... Let's go Sabo. Let's go here. And then we'll attack for five. So that gives me two units here that we can attack with. Opponent gives me a blocker. 
The Hina can potentially die. I see, I see the combo here. So you send this back and get to be re-standard, right? Yeah, so you get to send this guy back and you get to re-stand your stuff and attack me again. I guess if we want to block, we probably need to block this one. Because uh, this one's going to be 7k, right? So this is going to be a 7k, so that's always going to hit me. Thousand worlds. And they go for Dubao. We can get rid of the Dubao very easily, right? That's just going to be an Absalon. Question here is... I might actually choose to have the blocker. Hmm. Like, I might actually choose to have this, this Sabo blocker here. Or do I just go Moira right now? Moira, and then attack sits, I mean, sits and sits twice. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. We go Absalon. And uh, do we need to play anything here? I might actually play the Cindy anyways, just to get more cards into my discard. Yeah, we can go here. Then we can go like this. And we'll return this one and return Shigi. KO this guy. Then we'll go for six. It's going to be two cards out of the opponent if they want to save it. I guess if the opponent plays any rushers, we know that the opponent has an ESO in their hand, right? And that there it goes, because they did that from all those turns ago. The reason I like the more right here is because we can we can set it up so that we can potentially threaten lethal. So the opponent has to be careful of what they do here, because we have four attacks. So by doing the more right now, it kind of gives me that option. Opponent's gonna go for eight, goes ahead and kills the Hina. They play Hawkins. Hawkins is okay. Hawkins can be annoying, I guess, right? Because he's able to like just do stuff. We can go Absalon and kill the Rosinante. Opponent still has two lives and three cards. They have three attacks next turn, right? They have three attacks next turn. They can technically rest one of my blockers. If we go Absalon to kill their blocker, we are left with six down. So we can go seven, nine, and nine. It's not difficult for them to be able to beat that. If I instead go Borsalino into... I guess I could go Rebecca and just get rid of the Hawkins instead. Rebecca, Hina, Absalon. I don't hate this, actually. I don't hate that, right? So if we go nine here, force him to take that. Okay, yeah, if they're gonna block that, then I, I can get rid of this, right? So I can get rid of that. So four, then Hina, then Absalon, that's eight. So that leaves me two done. So we can go five, five, five. I guess I could, have, I could have done it with the Moira instead, but I, I mean, that's fine. We'll go five. So force the opponent to give me all the cards, right? Then we go Rebecca. We'll grab this Hina. We'll play the Hina. Replace this. Go here. Play Absalon. Replace this. Use the car action. Uh, we'll send Kusan in here and KO that. We have a blocker and opponent only has one attacker. And then we just win next turn. So as long as we kept the opponent from having enough attackers to get through my three life, because all they need is just one attacker, right? All they need is just one attacker that they can restand, and that's what that Basil Hawkins was doing. Because they get to uh, they get to get restanded, right? Even if I have a blocker. So uh, I guess sure. I still have four attacks. You got Yamato, and that doesn't matter, right? We can just go five here. You give me the 1k and then I just go 5 again. And then I go 9. Yeah, unfortunately for the opponent, 
it's 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 a it's a cool strategy, right? Like uh, this deck is kind of cool, but it does kind of falter if the opponent can remove your your board, right? Because this th this needs to really have a good board presence, and unfortunately, you can't really get that against this black decks in OPO set. So GG's. In this match, we're gonna get Sakasuki. So this is probably gonna be a very common matchup. We don't have Sindri, and we also don't have uh, brand new. Okay, so now we get the brand new at least. So I guess we'll go here. Um, all right, so I do think the opponent has better way to pop our stuff, right? So they get Borsalino. It's gonna be interesting. Like, the opponent just gets so much more value than us. We whiffed all of them. That's cool. We get the Moira and the Hog back in the discard, so that's that's what's important, because then we'll be able to get that Moira back when we play the Hog back. Uh, so, like, yeah, next time we're probably going to just go Hog back and just get the Moira in our hand and start setting up for that. When it gets Rebecca, that's an early Rebecca. That's a very early Rebecca. We don't have Absalon, right? Or Lucy, so we cannot KO any other stuff just yet. Which is interesting. I need to keep... I think I take this, and I'm glad that I did, because now I get the Absalon. So we could actually KO that Rebecca. So we go one, three, seven, and just KO her. Sure. We'll go like this. We'll trash this. We'll play this. Use the car action. And we got another Absalom right here. Uh, I have to throw away the brand new, even though I don't want to. Or maybe I throw away the Mora. I actually think we throw away the Mora. I guess we can throw away the hog back because we're gonna get another one here. Sure, let's throw away the hog back. We have another one in our hand. Opponent actually took that. They have to be careful. Like I'm, I'm able to span the board really quickly with this Moiras. So like next turn, our, our goal here. Okay, you you, you play your Lucy. That's fine. Oh, he's humble. It's okay. Our goal here next turn is to just get Moira into our hand so that we can develop Moira right away and then on turn nine. Um, if the opponent actually goes this low, I'd be okay. Okay, well, we have another Moira. So now, I guess now things can be a little bit more, a little bit different, because we have this Moira. We can still develop the Hog back. So what we can do is that we can go here. We have to throw the Hog back, and then that leaves me Absalom mana to be able to kill Tashigi. Oh, but wait, to do Hog back, we need to return two things. Hmm. We could go Sindri instead. I really want to develop two units here. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I think I want to develop two units here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. So we're gonna go one. We can trash away. I guess I can. I can just bring the hog back back, right? Do I want to kill Tashigi? Is the question. Do I want to kill Tashigi or do I just want to develop this Kusan, force the opponent to kill the Kusan? I think we go like this. And uh, we'll send back here. And I guess we'll send back Hina. And we'll get this back to our hand. I didn't need to do it this turn either because I do already have another one, but I want to make the opponent think that they have no choice. And now we have this the opponent has to kill this Kusan. Whether it, whether they give me a seven cost Borsalino or something else, they will not be able to play their Mora. And then next turn we start doing our own Mora stuff. It's still weird that I don't have enough cards in my discard though. So I might actually, if I can counter out with this Sindri, the best thing I can do is counter out with Sindri so that I can play the Sindri. Sindri <laughs> with the Moira, right? Opponent can KO both here, I guess, if they go Grey Eruption, Hina, and then Lucina. 
Okay, perfect. So we took... I mean, the Hina went bye-bye. Yeah, so we, we'll go Sentry. And I'm gonna use it first, right away. And uh, yeah, we'll go like this. So we have Sit Stun that we can play with. We can actually go Ice Age into the Lushi, kill the Lushi. But then that means that if the opponent plays like a 10 drop or something, that's gonna be annoying. Because we can go Absalon and Sindri. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. We'll attack for five into their life. I don't think I care about the Hina. I think I want the opponent to give me a card here to save their life. Because whatever they can use to save their life, they can save the Hina. So we'll go like this. We'll develop this, right? I also don't want the Hina to be in the in the graveyard, right? So we'll go here and we'll go here. We'll activate Sindri first and then we'll go here and uh, send this back. Send Meteor Shower back. KO the Lucy. I want the Hina to actually stay on their field because she's less useful for them on the field than she is in the discard. So we have our Moira. We have this Borsalino. Opponent gets the old Moira. So, so this is the problem here, right? Yes, opponent gets Moira, but like they're gonna need to have another like. Oh, Hamblaze, I guess Hamblaze here. They're gonna need to have a lot more than this, because I can easily kill this Rebecca. I guess I don't have another Absalon actually. Never mind. We don't have another Absalon, huh? Yeah, we don't have another Absalon or Lucy, so we cannot kill Rebecca. We cannot kill that Rebecca. Oh. If the opponent plays Hamblaze, that makes it even worse because this one is not even going to be in the discard anymore. Yeah. So now I have to start worrying about my own life. So I guess we'll take the eight and we'll counter out the rest. Okay, they're gonna get rid of the Cindy. It really sucks not having that Absalom. Do we risk it? Do we play the Sindri and say that we're gonna get it? I think I have to. This is this is five. This is three. I guess if I play brand new, I think I have to. But that's that's a that's a two K counter that I'm giving up, and the opponent has four attacks next turn. I think we just go here. I think we just go here. We get this right, um, and and then we just go Moira. We go Moira, play the Borsalino, and the Brand New again. So we go like this. Opponent's gonna give me a 1k. They go here. They're gonna block or take it. They're gonna block. We'll go like this. Um, we could go Rebecca, I guess. Right? But Rebecca gets KO, while Borsalino doesn't. If we go Rebecca, it can give me another 2k counter into my hand. So I guess let's go Rebecca. And uh, we'll go here. Let's activate this first. We'll grab the Ice Age. And uh, we'll draw... I guess we can always draw Sabo too. I don't mind this. I don't mind drawing this Sabo. The problem is that I'm just going to die here, right? Opponent needs to have blockers, though. Because I still do have this Moira. I still have this Moira. Okay, opponent's going to KO one Moira. With the Borsalino. Not even a KO, just bounce it. Okay. Forcing me to block there. 
forcing me to block there. All right, so when it has no blockers, two cards, no blockers, two cards. We're going to go all in. We're going to go all in and just say that if you have whatever you have, you have it. Right? So, if you have it, you have it. I was hoping I could get like a meteor shower, by the way, for my triggers, so that I could actually uh, stop it. So we can go 9, 9, and 11. Oh, sorry, not 9, 9, and 11, because this is, this is last, right? So we can go 7, 7, 9, and 11. We know that the opponent has a burger in their hand, actually. Opponent has a burger. Opponent has a... Okay, so we can go 7, 8, 9. I think we go 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, I think it's 8, 9, and 10. 8, 9, and then just 10. We know that the opponent has a burger in their hand. So if they have exactly two 2k counters here, they just win the game. Or if they get another 2k counter from their life. So we know they have the Burgo. Ah, they had double Burgo. Alright, so they had double Burgo, so I don't think there's a way for me to actually get there. Well, that's not true. I can just KO their stuff now, right? And we play Sabo. Well, not KO. I can kill their stuff here. Kill their 9k. Play Sabo. Have enough counters in my hand that I could potentially survive this. Three, six, seven, eight cards. Most of them are 2k counters. Actually, all of them are 2k counters except for one card. Alright. Humblaze is the problem. Because this would be... No, no, no. Humblaze doesn't work, right? So we go at 2k. 2k. We might be able to get there. As sits doesn't work. Yeah, we have we have we have we have a lot of two Ks. What am I talking about? Like we were always the moment that the opponent gave me the two Burgos, we were fine. I think opponent should have just taken that life and made me go all in. If the opponent took that life and made me go all in, we don't even need to block with Savo. <laughs> yeah, like I just I just have all my two Ks in my hand, my friend. Literally all my two Ks. I have two more. And I just gave them one, two, three, four, five, two Ks. And I have two more, so that's seven. When it trashes the Moira, try to trying to look for a blocker. Could keep it alive, but we do have. Well, I guess we don't have a way. Ham Blaze. It's gonna force me to block. Nah, but I can block and still survive, right? Boom. All right, so there's nothing that they had that can KO me, right? I I'm scared. I'm scared of like a random like ro uh, red rock, right? I'm kind of scared of like a random red rock, so I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, yeah, like like I'm kind of scared of like a random. I forgot does red rock uh, recall five cards? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm scared of like a random red rock that the opponent might be playing. Yeah, our hand was just perfect, right? Opponent got very lucky there getting the hand blaze, but our hand was just ridiculous with all the counter that we have. Um, because yeah, if, if if the opponent if we didn't have exactly enough to survive and save that Sabo, we don't have lethal this turn, and we will have lost. So GG's. In this match, we go against Luffy. Alright, so I guess we'll go second here. We have the brand new, so we'll keep that. Um that adds some stuff into our discard pile, which is great. We'll get the uh, we'll get the Hina. Because it's our only option. All the other cards are trillion bar cards, right? So we do have this Absalon, but the opponent is three. Four. Okay, so I need to counter here. Unfortunately. Because the opponent is gonna have their. I could have I should have thrown one of the Absalons away. The opponent's going to have their law here, and I didn't want to have to deal with this law, right? Uh, I'm not able to really kill that Sorrow. Even with the Absalom, because I don't have a... If I had a Meteor Shower, maybe, but I don't have a Meteor Shower here. So, um... 
I guess I could still go. I could still go ahead and just play this Perona, but that, that I mean like that's fine, I guess. We're still planning to lose a car. It's the same thing as yeah, I guess we'll go for it that way. We'll go here. Use the car action. We're gonna trash this Absalon. Or I'm trashing the Hina. Let's trash one of the Hinas and just play this. And uh, let's have them trash a car. It, it, it gives me a 5k a 5k unit on the field, which is it's the same thing as play, us playing that Hina with the advantage of us taking one car out of their hand, right? We do have this Hina, and now we have we can have an Absalon, and we can obviously throw the other Absalon to the discard pile if we need to. Um, I think we countered this one, because I'm probably going to take this hit from Luffy no matter what, right? They actually are ramping up, which I think puts them a little bit at risk. So, like here, right? We can go Hina. We're short, we're short, we're short, we're short. We're short one down, right? Hina, it only takes takes it down to three. We need it to be down to uh, two for Absalom to work. So the Hina doesn't do it. So I guess we can go Great Eruption and just get rid of the Sora Juro. Play the Absalom, do the thing. How do we do this? I feel like I need to keep the great eruption though. And like I don't know that it's worth it to actually do anything else. Like I think we can go like this. Attack this for four. See if the opponent gives me a car. Yeah, I think I think we go here, see if the opponent gives me a car. Like, you know I can attack for six with Perona after. Is there anything good here that we want to return, right? Like, does it make sense for us to return this Absalon? Because it is forcing me to trash a card from my hand, which I guess is fine. Yeah, I guess we can trash the Absalon again and be okay with that. That way we attack for seven and six. Sure. Let's go like this, and um, and we're not gonna use the car action because we don't need to. Just again, just try to have units on the field, right? Try to have units on the field while forcing the opponent to give me cards from their hand, so that when they go low enough, we can have this gecko more. I just kind of get some value out of them. We can definitely kill this kid next turn with the a rare eruption and the Hina. And then be able to play one of the other Absalons for my discard. But I don't have a card that I want to trash from my hand to do that. Now that the opponent went for the blocker though, maybe... It's... Okay, so th this tells me that they just want to... Okay, so Hina is 4. Great Eruption only takes this down to 5. So the Lucian shouldn't be able to stop this. But having the Lucian in the field is pretty good. The problem with that is that then we don't have down for anything else, right? We can also just go Hina, Absalon, and I still have two uh, uh, I still have enough Setsuke attacks to force cards from the opponent. I like that. So we can go like this. Um yeah, we can go. Hina here, right? We put one. We go for six. Use the car action. Um, I'm not opposed to trashing this Lucy, weirdly enough. Yeah, I'm not opposed to trashing this Lucy right now. Let's go Sabo, Sabo, KO this. It's just forcing the opponent to have to give me cards from their hand, right? And then having this big wall of attackers that the opponent has to worry about. 
there is some consideration that developing this Moria was probably correct at some point. We do have the Rebecca, right? Yeah, so the opponent has to give me that. Has to give me a card. There's no way you take that last life. Yeah, you have to give me the card. We don't have a lot of counters in our hand, so if the opponent has technically opponent could kill us here if they play Kaido and just focus all their attacks into us. Like we literally cannot stop this. They can go six, seven, eight, ten. I wonder if they see it. I do have three cards, right? So it's kind of risky to go for it. They actually could have gone seven, seven, eight, and ten, right? Because they can give minus uh, plus one here. So their risk right now is if I can kill this kid, I can just win the game. Like, yeah, you're killing the Absalon and you're taking one life. But if I could have killed that kid, you would have been done. I guess they could keep enough done to be able to survive that. Okay. So we can kill the kid, by the way, now. We can kill the kid with the Absalon. So we can go Suru, Meteor, Mete uh, Grey Eruption. So Suru into Grey Eruption gets it to one. And then uh, that kills the kid. And then the opponent, I guess the opponent still has one down, right? So they can go for 4k. Wow, this is risky. Because if I go for the Moira, opponent has five right now. They will go to seven. They could still have a poly to get rid of the Rebecca blocker. I could also go Great Eruption and, and using the Soul. Ooh, this is so risky. I could play the Borsalino instead of the Rebecca, I guess. And that gives me the blocker. And then what? And then I guess we play a brand new. Do I have a brand new here? I don't have a brand new here. So we're like playing a Soul. I guess we're gonna have to use the second effect. The opponent will have four attacks. We have two life, one blocker, and no counter cards. I can attack for six sits twice here, forcing the opponent to either block with the kid or give me the cards. I think I have to risk it. I'm scared of the poly. That's why I don't want to go for Rebecca. But I think I'm going to have to risk it just so that I get another 2k in my hand. But it doesn't matter if I have another 2k. Opponent can spread out their damage any way that they want. That one done is what scares me here. So we can get rid of the blocker. And that leaves me with 8 done. And we can go 9 and 9. But that doesn't matter because opponent has 3 cards. I think I have to develop the Moira. I think no matter what, I have to develop this Moira. And I think I'm going to go with Rebecca and just get that additional 2k in my hand. Yeah, I'm just going to get that additional 2k in my hand. Um, we'll just play a Suru just because. Yeah, we'll go here. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's glitching. It's not letting me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a glitch where sometimes it doesn't like let you see the rest of your stuff. Yeah, we don't need to play anything here. And um, I guess we'll go like this, right? Well, attack for six here. I want to see what the opponent does. Okay. And I guess we'll attack for six again. And have the opponent give me another card. Yep. They have double. They have two 2k counters. So, yeah, if I went for lethal, I was never winning. Two 2k counters, I was never winning that. Especially because I'm pretty sure that last card that they have is an event. So, if that last card that they had is a counter event, then they will have to top pick the poly here to get over the Rebecca. We have only 4k counter, but we do have two more cards as well. And they're not surviving next turn, right? They also had to attack with this kit first before they attack with the Luffy. So they go for 9 here. So we take the 9. We use the Rebecca for the Kaido. And opponent can go for 9 again. 9 two more times, right? They can go nine two more times here. 
Oh, actually, they can go 10 here because they get the dumb back. So they go 10. So they go 10, which means that I have to just I, I have to just counter this now then, right? So if if the opponent didn't have that extra down, which they could have just gotten it from this as well, right? So we can take one life and we can block the other one. And with four dot, I guess the opponent could have the chief's horn. And that will get rid of the Rebecca as well, right? So that's the only way that they win this now, if they have the chief's horn. Yeah, like obviously you're going to try to kill my units at this point. I'm going to just take that so to play around that, but it doesn't matter. It does let the opponent keep like this... This one attack, I guess. And we can just take this too, right? Yeah, because we're finishing the game next turn. We know we're finishing the game next turn, right? Opponent has three down. And they rested their blocker. So we can go nine. I guess we can go 11 and then 13. Right? Yeah, we go 11. Because even if this is like a 4k counter, it doesn't matter. Oh, but the opponent says sits, yeah. So, yeah. I, I also forgot that this was a 6k leader, so 11 didn't really matter. Probably was just fine to go for 10. Yeah, probably was just fine to go for 10, to be honest. Uh, it was a little bit risky because we only had two attackers. And they actually was just they were just bluffing that one event the whole time, right? But they did have another 2k counter in their hand. So they had 6k counter by the last turn. So I'm glad that I waited it out for just one more turn and just decided not to play around the poly. I guess if the opponent had played the poly, they would have lost all their dawn. And we had enough 2k counters to block the 6k attacks, right? But then they still would have been able to push damage with these two units. So it would have, I would have been at the mercy of whatever cards I drew from my life, right? Which ended up being a 1k and then another 1k, so... GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Gekko Moira. It's, it's kind of cool, right? There's a lot of cool combos that you can do here. This Absalom is really your, one of your key cards, right? Uh, but you also have to be careful because aside from Absalom and Lushi, you don't really have a lot of other removal, right? Like it, it's not like Sakasuki that you have Hound Blazes and you have uh, Borsalino, right? And you have Lushi. Like you really don't have a lot here. So I think it may be this list needs to go ahead and play the four Lucius, just because otherwise I kind of feel like I've run out of resources on how to be able to kill my opponent way too quickly. Uh, but overall, I think the list is pretty solid. Uh, you get to bring stuff back with Gecko, of course, same thing as Sakasuki does, and it feels really good. So hope you all enjoyed my showcase of me trying to learn this deck. I don't think I did an amazing job at it, but you know, that's part of the learning experience and what we got to learn together and why I kind of do the videos this way. It helps me practice so that I also get better when I'm going to go into like the next week, you know, all the next treasure cup. So hope you'll enjoy. If you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post one of these videos every single day and I'll see you all again tomorrow.